Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Blunt Saji Tarot. My name is Robin, and Taurus, today we're going to do a love reading, baby. Let's just talk about you in love. Let's see what's going on with the Taurus Collective. Let's talk about you. Spirit guides, what up with the Taurus Collective? What's going on in love in the current moment? Express your love. Okay, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Sounds like it'll be reciprocated. Let's see if Let's see what's going on. Let's see what this means here, Taurus. Let's talk about you. And Taurus, contest alert, contest alert. I do want to announce the contest that I'm having on my channel right now. So I'm giving away a whole whack of free readings. So Taurus, if you want to enter this contest, just like, comment, subscribe, get yourself entered. On August the 4th, I will be replying to the winners. I will also be posting them in the community section. So it's my way of saying thank you for all your support, kind words, personal readings, everything. Thank you, Taurus. Um, and let's get into your reading. So we have the High Priestess. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Star. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Three of Cups. Yeah. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse. And we got the Fool. And we got the Moon. Taurus, you might not be talking to your person here. We got the High Priestess and the Moon. Both cards of mystery, of, you know, basically silence when we're talking about tarot and love. So... You might be um, withdrawn from this person or just physically or, or sorry, emotionally withdrawn. There could be an emotional pullback. Someone might have pulled back here. Um, we could be dealing with the Pisces. <laughs> Heavy emphasis on Pisces. We got Aquarius here. Um, so let's talk about it. So there's a little bit of silence, a little bit of withdrawal. Um, maybe you haven't told them how you felt. Maybe it's just simply you have not expressed your feelings. But with the Six of Cups here, there is a history between you and this person. You're at a crossroads, which I feel like is part of telling, you know, this person how you feel. Maybe it's about opening up. Um, let's see. What's the Two of Swords energy here for Tor Eight of Pentacles? One more. What's the crossroads here for Taurus? Working on this or staying withdrawn. Okay. <laughs> there's judgment. And there's the Three of Cups. So you're trying to decide if you want to continue to work on this or, you know, stay withdrawn. There's clearly a withdrawal or a separation or some kind of something. We have the four swords twice. We got the high priestess. We got the moon. So Taurus, you're at this crossroads trying to decide um, what to do. But the fact that the six of cups is there and the star it tells me that you don't want to give up on this. Part of you still wants to continue to move forward, but I don't feel you've told this person. You could be mad. They could be mad. There could have been a rift, a disagreement, an argument. There could have been a, some kind of something that happened between the two of you. But um, I do feel you're trying to decide whether to speak your truth or just move in a different direction here. But judgment and three of cups are there, which tells me uh, you pursue this person or they pursue you. If it's not your energy, they come for you. Um, that sounds really strange. They come for you, but they're going to come and talk to you and express their feelings. So I feel... The silence and the withdrawal energy is coming to an end here, Taurus. There's a reunion. There's a cup of coffee or a couple drinks or some tea, maybe like some bubble tea, some tai chi. Um, but let's see what they want to say about that three of cups. <laughs> what do you want to say about the three of cups for Taurus? Talk to us. What you want to say, baby? Um, now with that ace of swords in reverse, there could have been a miscommunication or simply a misunderstanding. The Knight of Wands in reverse. There's the chariot and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, see the Knight of Wands in reverse, especially with the Knight of Cups. This is an energy of no more um, in and out. They want to be consistent in your life. Um, the chariot is they want to overcome these obstacles, these challenges, these barriers, which has to do with this ace of swords. So a lack of communication could have just been a misunderstanding. It could have been confusion. Someone not really knowing why somebody pulled back. Um, or it could have just been lack of expressing feelings. Neither person was really telling the other one how they felt or were comfortable expressing that. But there's a fresh start here with this fool. So the communication issues, the withdrawal, the silence, it ends now. Um, you guys are going forward here. Taurus, Chariot, Knight of Cups. You're going forward in a very sweet and romantic way. Three of Cups and the Knight of Cups is actually very romantic. So you might have some nice romantic evenings in the future to rekindle this love between you and this person. I keep seeing this. What is this card? The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so it is heading towards the Ten of Pentacles, which is 10 plus years, or you've already been in a long-term relationship with this person and the separation or withdrawal is coming to an end. So this ends now, Taurus. You guys are progressing forward. You're overcoming your obstacles. They really want you to express yourself and speak your truth. You know, if you don't, that's when we get regrets in life, right? You got to go for it and see how it goes. Um, and at least you don't have regrets, you know, but this person reciprocates for shizzle and you guys are taking the sleep of faith and moving forward. So there's some clarity shed in the situation. Um, and, um, that's what's going down. So Taurus, let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. We'll get back to the tarot, baby. Spirit guides, what does Taurus need to surrender to when it comes to this person, this situation, this connection, this relationship? Talk to us. Ah, defensiveness. Okay. Don't shoot the messenger, baby. Uh, defensiveness is a sign of weakness. 
So to communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out and then offer a clear, non-defensive response. Woo, baby. Success. That's what you got, baby. S-U-C-C-E-S-S. -S -S. Okay, you are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities, right? So you just got to forgive and learn from whatever happened here between the two of you. What's a caring connection, baby, between Taurus and this person? Talk to us. We got a couple. Telepathic. So close soul connections are harmoniously synchronized, creating moments of telepathy. And dreams, baby. Share your dreams and encourage each other to make them a reality. All right, Taurus, I do feel there's a history here. So let's get your hidden truth. If this person could say something that they're not saying, they want to say, they can't say, they should. Maybe they shouldn't. But you need to know, baby. Well, let's get those. Let's get the dirt. Spirit guides, what is this person? Uh, I buried myself in work to forget you. Starting to understand our connection in the bottom and becoming a better person. So they've been going through some growth, some changes here uh, throughout whatever's happened between the two of you. All right, Taurus, let's get your potential outcome. When I say potential, there's always free will, baby. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, where are you guys in a month? How are things progressing? There's a new, you know, there's a, there's a, a new feeling to this connection. Things are progressing forward. So let's see how you guys are doing. If there's any more hiccups, if there's any more misunderstandings, let's talk about it. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, I understand. We have the Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And this person could be a mother or a father or the mother or father of your kid. Yeah, the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay. Well, the cards we got in reverse are definitely the cards you want in reverse. <laughs> okay. What else we got here? We got the Queen of Cups. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Swords. And we have the Eight of Cups. All right. I see what's going on. Um, somebody jumped to conclusions, Taurus. Uh, somebody had a negative outlook, a negative mind frame, or they were just thinking about the worst. Somebody jumped to conclusions. That's what happens here. But that's not going to happen again. Not from what I can see here. Nine of Swords in reverse is telling me someone was worried about something and they just, they jumped to the worst case scenario. You know, when you play those sh those fucking things in your mind, they can make you think that something's real and happening, but it's not. It's just a worry. It's just an anxiety. It's just a fear. That's what I feel might have happened here. Um, and I do feel it was on their ends because they're the ones that bury themselves in work and they're coming up as the Queen of Pentacles, but very well could be you. Um, cause you're also an Ursa. <laughs> um, but somebody jumped to conclusions here, but that is no more that negative outlook. Um, but it's still here. So, but <laughs> this person's working on it. So they realize, so whenever you guys had your conversation, you clarified, you talked about what went down, they're starting to realize that it was just a misunderstanding that they jumped to conclusions. They might've even made assumptions. But I, I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles, it's a message to have patience. Have patience with yourself. If it was you that jumped to conclusions or made an assumption, or if it was them, have patience with them. Because I see them working on it. It's a self-sabotage. It's a habit. It's a pattern. This is something that might have happened between the two of you before, or whoever the one is jumping into conclusions or making assumptions. They may have done it before. They're trying to walk away from that. They're working on themselves, but they're not the happiest about it because... Well, changing your mind frame, changing your thoughts is never easy. It's always, um, well, if it was easy, everybody would do it, right? <laughs> Straight up. So it's difficult to get in control of your thoughts, your mind, and, you know, those feelings and worries. So this person's working on it. They're improving it. They're trying. Have patience. It takes time. Progress takes time. But I see success. I see a lot of effort here. I see you guys trying to work through this. The feelings are uncanny. You can't deny them. There's heavy emphasis, again, on Pisces and Cancer energy. Um, but either way, uh, you guys are moving forward, trying not to give attention to those assumptions, you know, jumping to conclusions too quick to jump to, and to react, right? So, um, and, and you're a Taurus, which is why I think it's on the other person's end because you guys are pretty slow movers. You guys are, you know, the Knight of Pentacles energy. So, um, Taurus, that's what I got. You guys are in a good place. There's still patience um, and some work that needs to be done, but hey, that's, you know, relationships, they're work. <laughs> they're never easy, right? It's always gonna take a little bit of effort and work in order to compromise and work through those, you know, flaws, challenges, quirks that we all have. That's what I got, baby. So Taurus, if you like my style, if you want to enter my contest, you know what to do. Get yourself entered. And again, I'll be giving away those readings on the 4th of August. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. If the card comes in reverse, it's no. If the card comes upright, it's yes. So spirit guides, what's the answer for Taurus? Yes or no? What do they need to know? Yes or no? What's the answer? No, that's what I got, baby. Taurus, I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.